Hey guys, it's Square 5 welcome back to another video. Today we're discussing how The Incredibles 2 and Toy Story 4 switched release dates. So, The Incredibles 2 is coming a year earlier than when it was supposed to, which is great because The Incredibles 2 is like one of the most anticipated sequels, Pixar sequels, um, ever basically. Uh, Finding Dory was not, that was just really unexpected, but hey, Finding Dory was really excellent. Really spectacular, magnificent. Um, yeah, so Incredibles 2 is coming a year earlier. I'll have to wait like a year and a half from where we're at. So, yeah, a year and a half. So, that is not too long. We still have to go through a whole year. But hey, it's worth it. Because Incredibles 2 is coming. Now, Toy Story 4. Why is this happening? Because Toy Story 4... Thor? No, no, this is not Marvel. Okay. So, Toy Story 4, the director of Toy Story 4, John Lasseter... Uh, you might know him. Uh, he um, he wasn't very happy with the result, so they wanted to you know keep working on it to make sure it is as good as it can get, because all three Toy Story films have been spectacular, except for the fourth one, which we will see if it's spectacular or not. Um, it actually kind of worries me a bit, because they weren't happy with the result and they're delaying it so they can work on it more. It kind of worries me. Because since they weren't happy with the result, I mean, I mean, oh boy, this is, it kind of worries me. Is it going to be good? Is it going to be bad? We have, we have no idea. But hey, don't, don't keep your hopes down. I mean, it could be good or it could be bad. Let's hope it's good. Let's keep our hopes up because uh, I don't know what they're going to do with it. Hopefully they're going to make it as good as they can get. Good thing they're delaying it so they can work on it more. And yeah, <sighs> leave your thoughts in the comments below, because I want to know. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Zidio, did I say Zidio? I'm sorry, I meant to say video. Bye-bye.